Hello, hi everyone. This is a continuation of the previous video. So in the previous video, we spoke about transform, right? Like how we can uh, do the child creation of child records uh, without doing the for loop, looping element, right? So similarly, so continuation of that part, I have uh, taken a uh, aggregation of the uh, <clears throat> child records into the the value of the aggregation value up to the parent record so here um, <clears throat> so i i have taken a one use case usually how i was going to explain the same method so the use case was uh, we have a take a case okay so case has a child for the parent right so when you create the case the number of cases created account has to be updated on a you know, case field okay so similarly like you say aggregation uh, i mean number of count of the open activities on a case okay, okay so now let's uh, jump into the <coughs> the flow concept so how i'm going to do is uh, i'm a creating a trigger flow on a task object okay so new flow so when okay object is task when the record is uh, created and updated i will take okay next thing is let me save it here duty count on case okay next what i will do is I will take the get element get records. So here I will what I will do is uh, get all task. Okay, so I'm I'm getting all the tasks here. So respective uh, no conditions i'll get the uh, all the tasks which is related to the um, the task which you created the activity so what id i'll take okay what id mm, okay here we have to mention one more condition sorry so this should be the case tasks only right so what id uh, equal to so record what id okay so that means once you created a case uh, once you created a task on a case so what id will be the case id right so that task only it will be creating so this trigger flow we have to avoid further other than the task other than the case right so that logic we can write here mm, so okay so for now i'm just ignoring that so next click on save mm, we need all records we need all records so i am fe fetching all the records and then next thing is so let's assume i'm uh, <clears throat> increasing the use case here so i want to the open uh, open task count is will be the different and completed task account will be the different so what i will do is i'll apply the filter so it will be the collection filter hmm. i'll say here open open task okay so the collection whatever we get the records right so actually how this filter will work is 
so whatever you write the condition here right if the condition matches that those records will be stored in a different collection that is what the meaning of the collection here they mentioned clearly see they mentioned clearly that uh, created a target collection that contains only the source item that met the conditions okay so what i'll do is the condition is i need where the status not equal to completed so that means that here uh, that means that it's here it's a open task if you have the can cancel <coughs> option in your task then you can add it that also not an issue this is a one collection i need a one more collection right so say that uh, which is a completed task that also i'll create here this will be like saying that um, close task i'll say close task so here i'll not take this collection i'll take again the initial collection obviously we have to take the initial collection only right so i'll say the status equal to completed so this will be the closed task collection that will this will be the open task collection next what i will do is our main uh, element here uh, the video so i'll use that transform okay so this transform i'll say um, Some of some of task, not a sum of count of task. Count of task. So we are counting a task here and then updating onto the case, right? So that we see the source. I'll take uh, I'll take both sources, uh, which is a closed task collection and then open task collections. Let me take. Uh, open task collection first one and then and then close task collection so this one is a one of the source and this is the one more source okay so these two has to be updated on the parent of the the trigger uh, record right uh, record uh, what id so in our situation the what id will be case okay so those criteria we can <clears throat> write it so here as usually i'm taking a record if you want you can create a variable separate variables and then you know, update but here we need a uh, one set of collection right so that's why i mean uh, one object it's not a single value we are we are collecting here there are two values one is open task count and then close task count right so that's why anyway we have to update that onto the case so that's why i'm taking here the record we can use any data type even apex define what do you mean the apex define means uh, it will be like a wrapper class uh, if you want you just comment out uh, if you want to know about the apex define and i'll do that one more video for that so for now i'm going with the record I'm not going with the multiple because of multiple tasks we are updating onto the single parent, so that's why. Okay, so the object is I'll take the case here. <coughs> okay, so now what we need, we have to aggregate this. We have an option here to perform the aggregate options. Uh, so if you see here the option, if you select here will do the aggregate okay uh, so this will be the open task count right so there is i just created one custom field here which is a number field open task count i'm just linking to here so while link after linking it will ask like this uh, in the aggregate <coughs> uh, option uh, there is aggregation types for now it is a count and sum maybe in the future there will be a few more types 
So for now we need a count. I'm just using the count here. So this will be for the one open task. Uh, this open task count will be go there. And then completed task count. So this will go here, the closed task count. Again, here it is a count. So I'll use this one only. So next, what we need, uh, we need a uh, ID, right? Case ID to update the case. So I'll just take one more source here. We'll take one more source, which is a, a record because of we need a we need a what ID to link with the case, right? So that's fine. So what ID? No. What ID? Yes. So what ID? So this what ID I will link with the case ID. We'll just save it. Okay. So now the record <coughs> recovery aggregation is done. And then case is ready to update, right? So next, simply we'll go with the update element. Update, uh, update, update records. I'll go the update records. Things specific. Recorder records. So here I'll choose a transform case record. Update case. Okay. I'm saving here. So save. Let's do the debug. Let's assume one immediately create. Okay, let's assume you are creating a task. So what will happen? Now? So if you create the task the transform will be creating the count so here open task count is five for that which i have selected the task that task has the case actually a closed task count is two okay so let's activate this so that means that uh, there will be no errors and so see this uh, i'm just doing this video oh, oh this uh, only for like uh targeting to explain what is a filter what is a transform there might be you can do the more uh, best practices things you can add in this uh, like error handling conditions and other things here yeah, just to share the knowledge i'm i'm not uh, <clears throat> doing everything here like the best practices and handling the exceptions all those things let's activate this flow and do that testing okay okay chalo now i'm i'm going to create a one activity either from here or there anywhere you can do that okay this will be not let me go and create a new activity new task mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll not give any thing. And the status will be not started. I'll just save here. Okay, this related to this case. Let's go to the case. We have a six open task and two closed tasks. Let's check that. So open task is six. We have and close tasks is two we have. Okay, let's uh, close the task and then check it again. Uh, this is the task I created, right? So let mark as completed. This status is changed to completed. Oh, let me refresh. Yeah, this task count got reduced and this task count has increased. Earlier it was six, right? So it's now three. So this is how I would like to share these things. So thank you for watching till here. Um, so please do 
subscribe people are uh, watching video but not doing the subscription and please do the subscribe and share this video who knows the sales first um, and thank you friends bye